what is cervical radiculopathy it is a neck pain radiating along your arm forearm and to the hand you may not be able to reach for a object kept in the shelf or you are not able to lift heavy weights even writing might be difficult you may feel pain even by slightest bending of the neck and pain is reduced when you restrict the movement of your neck or if you keep your arm on the opposite shoulder it may be just a pain or may be a numbness the numbness may be along the arm or forearm or the fingers you may not be able to hold the objects in your hand handwriting might worsen or you may have sometimes difficulty in passing urine as well as moving the bowel our neck is composed of cervical spine it includes seven bony vertebra and a spinal cord passing through it the spinal cord in the cervical spine connects the brain to the thoracic spinal cord it gives away eight pair of spinal nerves the vertebral bodies in the cervical spine are connected to each other in the front by the intervertebral disc and behind by the facet joints and the ligaments so when the roots pass behind the disc they might get compressed by the herniated disc or a bony osteophyte they may be sometimes compressed by the enlarged osteophytes from the facet joints every nerve exiting out of the foramen has a particular territory the pain and numbness produced in the arm may belong to one of the spinal nerve exiting from c5 root or the pain along the thumb may be due to c6 nerve root and pain along the ring finger may be along the c8 nerve root there are a pair of nerves one to the right side and one to the left side so the pain on the right side may be due to the compression of the right spinal nerve and pain in the left side is due to compression of the left spinal nerve the territory of distribution of sensory loss or a pain or weakness will indicate which level or which spinal nerve is involved by the compression uh, this is model of the cervical spine it is situated in the back of our neck it is made up of seven bones which are connected to each other by jelly like substance which is shown in white color okay with each movement the disc moves the spinal cord passes behind this vertebral bodies in a bony cage whenever we move whether we bend forward or when we bend forward the disc gets displaced backwards when it gets displaced backward it will compress on the exiting nerve root that time you will have a excruciating pain the pain is felt in the arm in the forearm in the fingers the pain may be associated with numbness or you might feel weakness your grip might be poor poor and you may lose objects from your hand so when to visit your doctor when you have a pain in the neck excruciating radiating to your arm forearm and fingers when you cannot hold your objects you can't perform day to day activities such as combing or getting objects from your shelf or abducting your shoulder then you must visit your physician or a treating surgeon when you visit your doctor for the radicular pain from your neck to the arm he will investigate you with x ray of your neck as well as mri of your neck x ray will give an idea about the movement of the bone in your neck and mri will give an idea which nerve is compressed how severely it is compressed and what modality of treatment has to be given once mri has been done we'll discuss what kind of treatment you need the surgery indicated in all patients with cervical radiculopathy not in all patients based on the mri findings and the clinical finding it will describe what treatment should be given to you normally a mild compression presenting only as a pain in the neck or in the arm with a numbness will advise the conservative management but if it is associated with the weakness in your hand a stiffness in your body or difficulty in passing urine a motion a surgery is a must before undergoing any kind of treatment whether it is a medical or a surgical a detailed investigation as well as examination by a treating physician or a surgeon is a must because cervical radiculopathy is a serious condition 
and proper treatment will help in resolving your problem.